Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to my YouTube channel, Unicorn and Centaur. Today's video is about checking your horse for ticks and all the gross and disgusting places you can find them. Trigger warning, I am not going to be showing any tick pics, but we will be discussing the nasty little bugs and a whole lot of horse body parts. So if you are squeamish about this whole thing or if you have a bug phobia, I will leave a link up here of a much nicer video for you to click on. <laughs> now for the rest of you, here we go. Horses, like many warm-blooded mammals, get ticks, which are little blood-sucking arachnids. They're gross. Ticks are found along the Atlantic coast of the United States, which unfortunately is also where my horses live. If you live in an area that has ticks and you have horses, it's very important to check your horses regularly for them. So here is how and where to do that. Ideally, you should check your horse for ticks every day. But some of us don't have our horses on our own property and can't see them every single day. In that case, check them whenever you see them. And while grooming is an excellent time to do this. When you groom, you're going over your horse from head to toe anyway, so you might as well check a little closer for some nasty critters while you're there. Ticks are very small, but often there will be a lump where they have attached themselves. So you can feel for that. The tick itself will be attached by the head, but the body will be flapping around. So when you run your hands over your horse's skin, you'll feel it flapping like a little skin tag. Yes, it is just as gross as it sounds. To remove them, you just pop them right off and then squish them under your feet. Laughing maniacally is optional. <laughs> Since I start grooming up by the ears, that's usually where I start. Check the ears and underneath the forelock. They like to attach themselves up here. Check the entire face. And don't forget the little groove under their jaw. Ticks love that little groove under the jaw right there. Ugh. If you have one-eyed horses like I do, make sure you check the empty eye socket. Yes, I have had ticks attach themselves in there and it's difficult to get them out because you can get your fingers into the eye socket and touch the tick, but when you pull, it's like, it's. It's just difficult. And I don't want to put tweezers in there because I'm not going to put a sharp object in my horse's eye socket. Like, can we not? Eye socket ticks are so upsetting. Not just for me, for them, because they don't understand why I'm fishing around in there. Anyway, if your horse has both eyes, you don't have to worry about that. Moving on. Make sure you check along the crest of the mane and underneath the mane as well. Check all over the neck and underneath the chest right here. A lot of times I find them right there. Now you also have to check under your horse's armpits. I often find ticks underneath my horse's armpits. I don't even know if horses have armpits technically, but you know what I mean. So run your hand all underneath here and underneath the back. Just feel around in all those cracks. Run your hands underneath your horse's belly and all over their back. Sometimes you can't even see the ticks and you have to kind of feel the lump. Now we're getting to the uh, fun parts. <laughs> horses get crotch ticks. I know. I've even found them on my horse's sheath. Like not on the actual ding dong, but on the sheath around the outside. Yeah, I know. Yes, my horse had a dick tick. I almost died pulling it off. Now in checking for crotch ticks, you not only need to stick your head upside down in there, but you need to run your hand underneath inside between where your horse's leg is and his belly and feel that crack area in there. There's almost always a tick in there. Ticks absolutely love this location for some reason. Ugh. And now we're at the end, literally. Do not neglect to check underneath your horse's tail. There's this little patch of skin underneath the horse's tail that doesn't grow hair. Ticks love to attach themselves to that, so check for little lumps on that area. And of course, there's the occasional butthole ticks. This is probably the worst. I'm so glad my horses lack the ability to get embarrassed because me pulling off actual butthole ticks would do it. As it is, the moment I grab their tails, they pull and tuck it under like they're being violated, but like, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> so that about covers it. Some of you watching this who may have been dreaming of having a horse of your own are now sitting there wide-eyed with horror because you had no idea you might have to pull a blood-sucking bug off your horse's actual pooper. And some of you watching this might be fascinated. Honestly, as gross as it all is, I find pulling ticks weirdly satisfying, like lancing boils or popping pimples. To feel them pop off gives me a little 
dopamine hit. My brain is like, oh yeah, that's good. So hey, if you haven't clicked away or unsubbed by now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And whether you are a horse owner or not, I hope you learned something today about horse care. Thank you for watching my video. A very special thanks to my Patreon members who make these videos possible. And thank you for watching all the way to the very end of my video. We hope you have a magical day. Oh, are you bored?